welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we are taking Koa outside today. So since it's about four o'clock, it's not as hot as it has been. So I thought it would be fun to take Koa outside today and you guys can watch him walk around and everything. And while we're out there, I will update you guys on what's going on so far with the land and the farm and the house and everything like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy. It's gonna be a little bit of a vlog and you guys will get to see Koa and also an update. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. All right, so I have my reptile container. This is the container I put Koa in to take him outside. You guys have seen this before. It's by Living World. I got it off of Amazon. I do put Koa in this. It's easy to carry Blue outside, my Herman's tortoise. It's easy to carry him out there, just normal, like in my hands. But Koa can get a little bit stressy outside. Sometimes he can kind of be stressed out. He really doesn't like to be held the way that Blue does. Blue doesn't mind it at all. But you guys know Koa's really, really old. Of course, he was wild caught like over 30 something years ago. So he does stress a little bit more, which is another reason why I don't take him outside a whole lot. Definitely not as much as I do Blue. And it's mainly just because he can kind of get a little bit stressed out. And if he's not free roaming, he doesn't like to be like enclosed outside, you know, it just kind of messes with him and stresses him out. But today we're gonna let him free roam, so he should be fine. But we do gotta put him in here first so that we can carry him outside and he won't be super stressed or anything. And then we'll let him roam around. He's gonna have so much fun. I see you peeking out from your log. Come on, let's go out. You're gonna have so much fun out there. Oh, oh no, look how many blooms I have coming out. I've got four on this one and two, three, four on that one, oh my God. I'm gonna have like eight blooms in the next few days. It sucks having all those blooms ready because blue is literally in brumation. Blue is officially in brumation. I hadn't made a video about it or like announced it really. So I guess I'll just tell you guys here, but basically um, blue is full on in brumation. It started probably a few weeks ago, mid last month. Um, he kind of went down, which is basically where they sleep all day, every day and they stop coming out to bask. They don't eat. Basically I just soak him about once or twice a week and that's pretty much it. He is sleeping all day every day so you definitely don't want food to sit in their digestive tract so it's really important that you're not feeding them or like forcing them to eat or anything while they're trying to brumate so he's definitely brumating he's down he's not gonna wake up um, I do take him out to soak like I said like once or twice a week but you don't feed them while they're doing this because you don't want food to be sitting in the digestive tract since they're not coming out to bask and getting hot you don't want that because there there's not gonna be any digesting happening so you really don't want that food to be sitting in there that would be really bad because it would just be rotting and I don't know how long it's gonna last I absolutely hate whenever he brewmates because I miss him because I can't bring him outside. You know, you don't really do anything with him when they're sleeping all day every day and you just have to kind of let him do natural. I let his light still come on every day so whenever he's done, he'll come out and he'll bask on his own whenever he's done brewmating. So he's definitely gonna brewmate for a couple months and again, he went down last month so he, and he was kind of still coming out a little bit so I wasn't 100% sure if it was brewmation or if he was just like sleeping more but now it's definitely brewmation. He's not coming out at all now. He kind of went into it slowly so that's another reason why we're bringing Ko outside today because he's not brumating. He's wide awake. So I'm sure that he'll enjoy being out here. All right. So we have Koa here in the little carrier. We're going to get him out. And you can see here, this is where I used to have the outdoor tortoise enclosure. Um, we went on and tore it down, you know, because like I said, we're prepping the yard and everything. If you guys saw that video update on me talking about the snake pit over there and everything, um, we're getting the yard ready. So I went on and tore this down and we leveled it so that the grass will grow back and, you know, we can sell the house and everything. I wasn't using it anyway, unfortunately, because of all these rocks in this enclosure and it's impossible to get them all out. Like you can see, here's a big one. Blue kept chewing on them and I literally could not get him to stop being so curious and chewing on the rocks. And it was giving me anxiety, so we never really used the tortoise enclosure, but it looked good. So the next time I build one of these, which would obviously be at the new house, the new property, whenever that happens, um, I'm definitely gonna be using like a different substrate. I'm not gonna use just dirt that we got from the ground, you know, because these rocks and stuff have got to go. All right, let's get Koa out <laughs> so he can go roam. There you go, buddy. It takes Koa a few minutes to warm up outside. He has to realize he's out here and then he'll take off. So while we wait for Koa to get used to being out here and get comfortable and then he'll take off, it usually takes about five minutes. Also, I know most of you guys watching this know Koa's story, but for anyone who is looking at him and is like, he's really deformed. I know he's deformed. I didn't do it. Um, he was wild caught in 85. He's over 30 something year old. So for anyone who's new here, um, I know Koa is misshapen. He's deformed. Um, he does have metabolic bone disease, but he's doing really good now um, since I rescued him. But yeah, for anyone who's new here, I just wanted to mention that. 
but I wanted to tell you guys something really funny um, and kind of also give you guys an update on like what's going on with the land and everything. So Patrick and I have been discussing land, you know, deciding how many acres we want because we're narrowing down basically the type of land we're looking for. And we settled on three to five acres. And the other day, it's so funny. I mentioned to Patrick, I was like, you know, honey, three to five acres is a lot. There's going to be a lot of land, you know, and we're not going to have horses or anything like that right away. So that's going to be a lot of yard to cut, you know, like keeping up with the, the grass and the pastures or fields or whatever we end up with. He's like, I'm going to get a tractor. I was like, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, we'll need a tractor for sure. And he was like, also, we can probably just get some goats. I was like, um, honey, I don't know that I want goats. And he's like, oh, they'll eat the grass real good. And I was like, Goats aren't even on my top three things that I think I would want on the farm and I definitely wouldn't be getting goats like right away or anything like that. I just thought it was really funny and I wanted to tell you guys that Patrick is getting in the farm mindset. He's like, oh yeah, just get some goats. They'll eat your grass, no worries. Goats are super cute, but they're definitely not one of the top three things that I would want on the farm. I definitely want a mini horse. That's probably one of the first things like farm animal wise that I'm gonna get. I would love horses, but mini horses can't eat your grass. Like they can't just be put out to pasture and take care of it the way that full size horses can. Grass naturally has a lot of sugar and so many horses, a lot of them can't regulate their insulin and their sugar normally like big horses can. So many horses are really susceptible to like founder, colic, and then obesity of course. They can get really overweight and you don't want any of that. So definitely many horses would not be the thing to get to help you with your yard. But I love that Patrick was like, oh we'll just get some goats. And I'm like, uh, no, probably not. He starts looking around. Them legs are the next to come out and then he's going to take off. You're taking forever, Toe. Go on, get to running, go on. <gasps> oh, oh, I think he's about to go. You getting brave? You getting brave? What you doing? You got ants on you. Don't bite my foot. Don't you do it. Don't you bite me. I see that look in your eye. I know you look at worms that way. Don't you do it. You having fun outside today? You having a good day? Yes, yes, yes. You such a good boy. Yes, you such a good boy. You love being outside. Yes, you do. You gotta watch Toe. He keeps trying to bite my shoe. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I promise I'll scream. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not running yet. Normally you would have took off by now. It's about time, Toe. Get you some exercise, good boy. He's like, yes, yes, I love being out here. Yo, wild turtle toe. He looks so funny. Sweet man. Naughty man, but sweet man. You coming to get your water? Come on. You can go swimming? Come on. Oh, he's like, nope, never mind. You feel good? You love water. You guys can see I made the water a little bit deeper for him. It's not deep or anything, but box turtles are semi-aquatic, so he loves water and he loves swimming, and as long as he can get his head out, he's good. So I made a little bit deeper. And you can tell he's enjoying it because he's like just soaking and chilling. Do you love it? Does it feel so good? You're so cute. All right guys, well that is it for this vlog and update. I hope you guys enjoyed coming outside with Koa today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the update. Let me know in the comments down below if there's a video you guys would like me to film for you guys. There will definitely be a lot more updates and vlogs, especially with the farm and the land and how everything is coming along with the new house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Koa. Subscribe down below if you did and I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye.